Welcome, dear students, to our virtual classroom. This is Elena. And this is Zinaida. Let's start. Zina, you look gorgeous today. And this, your new dress, is so fresh. And this, your new style, fits you perfect. I should update my style, certainly. By the way, you can start right now and think about swapping your style, because today's lesson is focused on the way we dress. Today we are going to enrich our vocabulary on clothing. To speak about different items of clothing and styles. To point out some rules for school dress code. To identify positive and negative aspects of wearing a school uniform. Have a look at this picture. Let's brainstorm. What is common and different about it? We see the same person that is wearing clothes of different styles. What about you, our dear students? What styles are you familiar with? For sure, there is a variety of styles, like fancy, formal, sporty, trendy, and casual for everyday needs. But let's see what this style stands for. Your task is to match the fashion style to its definition. Pause and think. Let's see your answers. Formal, that means designed for wearing on official occasions. Casual, designed for wearing on informal occasions. Sporty, designed for or suitable for sport. Trendy, following the latest trends or fashions, up to date. Fancy, designed to please a fantasy, extravagant. Have you ever thought to become a fashion designer? If yes, this is exactly what we suggest you to do in our next activity. Your task is to give advice to the people what to wear on a special occasion and to recommend the style that fits them better. Activate your imagination and let's start! What a sound! Where it comes from? I don't know. Oh, it's our telephone! Okay, understood. Can you keep secrets? Because we have a special mission. We should recommend Agent 007 what to wear on a cocktail party to match with the crowd. Take extra time and put on a pause. Ready? Probably you thought about formal style, a pair of patent leather shoes, a classic black suit with a bow, and a secret wristwatch. Let's have a look at no less extravagant celebrity Lady Gaga. She is in a dilemma what to dress on a concert tour across your country. If you advised her fancy style, that means you hated it. Maybe you thought about heels on wheels shoes, my sister is a big fan of her and designed a pair. Weird material dress and some bizarre accessories like hula hoop bag and fancy sunglasses. Awesome! I also need a piece of advice. What to wear on my first Zumba lesson in a gym? I think, the, I think sporty style is the best one. Choose a pair of comfortable sneakers, leggings with print, and a top tank. What about you, our dear students? What would you suggest your friend to wear for a walk in a park? Maybe you thought about casual style. Trainers, a pair of denim jeans, plaid youth shirt, or a hoodie. So many advice! Let's check how well do you recognize all these fashion styles. Your task is to have a look at the list of the words and to choose one, one or out that doesn't fit with the rest. Let's see the first example. Jeans, t-shirt, running shoes, tie. The wood one out is tie because it belongs to formal style. Blazer jumper, miniskirt, bow. Look attentively and choose the word one out. And the stranger we have 
is miniskirt because it belongs to trendy style. Sportswear, sneakers, high heels, top. The wood one out is high heels because they aren't part of sport outfit. Have a look at this picture. Do you recognize them? Of course, they are magicians from Hogwarts school. What are they wearing? They are wearing school uniforms. Tell me please, are these items of clothing suitable for your school uniform as well? If you are interested to find out some more details about school uniforms, let's have a look at some basic vocabulary. Look, listen and repeat. Blazer. Blazer. Pleated skirt. Pleated skirt. Tights. Tights. Long socks. Long socks. Beige. Beige. As you can see, a modern school uniform consists of a dark blazer, a white shirt, a badge, dark trousers and a tie. What about broomstick? Are you supposed to bring it at school among other school items? Of course not. It was a joke. You see, sometimes school rules and school dress code varies around the world. That is why we invite you to look through some common school rules around the world that students must follow. Be prepared to reason with us. Is it allowed to wear long earrings or come body pierced at school? Of course not. Are you allowed to come to school with extravagant hairstyle? Why not? Probably it will focus all your attention not on your studies but on your original hairdo. How do you think? Why long, bright, painted nails are under restriction in the majority of schools? Probably they may cause problems with your handwriting and not only. What about some new school rules that we should obey in the times of pandemic? Are you supposed to wear a protective mask, to use sanitizers and respect social distancing? to make your school a safe place. Do you have some ideas, our dear students? If you are limited in ideas, then we invite you to plunge into the reading of a text to search for some more proofs dealing with the topic we are viewing today. Let's proceed to the reading of the text. Wearing a uniform is a badge of pride. It creates an identity for a school and shows that you are part of it. Many private schools, such as Eton, have distinctive uniforms. Some schools also have uniforms where boys wear a dark blazer, grey or black trousers and a white shirt with a school tie. Girls usually wear a dark colored jumper and a skirt with a white or pale colored blouse. A school uniform teaches students to dress smartly and helps them to be prepared for the time when they leave school. Some people believe that a school uniform can improve learning, it helps to reduce distraction and focus more on school work. It makes the classroom a more serious environment and helps the student to have a better learning results. Another important thing is that a uniform makes it easier for students to get dressed each morning. And it means students don't have to worry about what their peers would say about their clothes. When everyone is dressed the same, you don't worry about, about what you look like. There is no competition to be dressed in the latest trend and it's less expensive for the parents to buy a uniform than some brand clothes. Another problem is that in America, where the majority of schools do not have uniform, about 160,000 children miss school every day because they fear to be bullied. Still, there are voices against school uniform which say that it reduces creativity and restricts the right of freedom of choice. Also, they say that the school uniform is sometimes expensive for parents and uncomfortable for children. Let's check your comprehension and do true and false assignment. Don't forget you can pause and work at your own pace. 
Let's see the first sentence. The uniform gives the pupil the opportunity to focus more on school work. How do you think? Is it true or false? Of course, it is true. It is cheaper for parents or students to buy school clothes. Mark it as true or false. And we have false statement. The presence of uniform reduces problems with bullying at school. It is true. Uniforms can improve academic results. Think whether it is true or false. It is true. Uniform helps students to dress neat and saves time. As you see, it's a true statement. Let's outline the most important idea and your task is to divide them into two groups. Those which are beneficial for wearing a school uniform and those which represent drawbacks of wearing a school uniform. Encourages discipline. Saves time to dress. Fights with bullying relieves worries about what to wear. Uncomfortable and no use outside the school. Teaches to be proud of your school. Reduces violence. Less expensive to brand clothes. Reduces students' individuality. Now let's see how you have placed these ideas. Have a look at the screen and you will see that we have less arguments which support school uniforms. Let's mention them one more time. So it reduces students' individuality and is uncomfortable to wear. As you see, we have more arguments for school uniform. Let's read them one more time. Reduces violence, fights with bullying, less expensive to brand clothes, saves time to dress, encourages discipline, teaches to be proud of your school. Time flies very quickly. Let's have a look at what we have managed to do at today's lesson. We have spoken about different items of clothing and styles. We have pointed out some rules for school dress code. We have identified the advantages and disadvantages of school uniform. So, if you got interested in the topic which was under discussion today, we invite you to think how COVID-19 has revolutionized the dress code and general outlook on school uniform. Hope you enjoyed our lesson and see you again to our virtual classroom. Goodbye!